my YouTube, I wanted to show you something uh, a wee bit sad. Well, I uh, just gonna get a toner out of there. Um, I bought myself a new tube. It cost me something around uh, 50 bucks. It's uh, similar to the uh, GU81, but it's a bit more powerful. And this is what happened. It broke. And it broke big time. I knew it was broken, so, uh, yeah, I knew that this happened right here. That the, uh, tube had gassed, and this thing broke off. I could have fixed that by using a vacuum pump and re-gettering the tube if it had a getter. Or I could just use an external getter. But it would be possible to, uh, fix the tube. So, what did the mail? guys at the mail do, they smashed it. And big time. They broke off the terminal, which I have here. It's big. And then, that it wasn't enough, they broke the anode terminal. Then, to top it, they smashed the filament. And then they broke off the supports to hold the anode in place. Both of them it's pretty unlikely to smash the filament and the uh, supports of the anode because I've never seen that happen. And, uh, yeah, it's broken. I hate that. It's the second broken tube I have. I also have a tube from the uh, Phonix uh, Röntgen uh, Röhren uh, facility in Switzerland. That's also a Swiss tube. And the Mail guys broke that too, too. Uh, at least I got the sucker for that. And that's not that expensive, so, uh, yeah, not that. But that thing right there was expensive. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.